Hi everyone, welcome back to GameMakerCast. It's Mickey, and in this video, we're going to be taking a close look at a plugin called SnowState. This plugin is a robust, finite state machine. It's easy to set up and helps you keep your code organized. We can download this plugin for free off of github.com, which you can grab the link from the description below. All we need to do is head over to the releases tab and download the latest version that's listed. Now in GameMaker, we can either import the plugin by going to the tools menu and selecting import local package, or we can drag and drop the package into our project. Once we've done one of these options, we'll say yes to import, and we're going to take everything within the snow state directory and then finally click the import button. Before we get into the coding, I suggest you take a look at the official state machine video that I created for GameMaker. You can find it in the description below. We're going to take that video and transform it using the new snow state plugin. Let's open up the object chest and go to the create event. The first thing we need to do is initialize the state machine. And with this state machine, we're going to tell it to go to the idle state first. Now that we've created the reference to snow state, we're going to have to code the idle state. Every single one of your states can have a number of different events. The defaults are going to be enter and leave, and even though we may not code them, they're going to run once the state gets entered and once the state leaves. We can use this to our advantage though. For the idle state, let's set the image index to zero and the image speed to zero because we don't want our chest to animate. For the step event, we'll listen for a mouse check button press. If we press any of the mouse buttons, let's immediately change the state into the opening state. Now one of the benefits with a snow state is we're able to code a draw event for each of our separate states. For example, we could have a draw function here and we're just going to call the draw self. Now with the idle state out of the way, we'll switch over to the next state, which is the opening state. This is just going to be responsible for animating the chest until it is open. In the enter function, we'll ask it to animate by setting the image speed to 1. In the step event, we could check to see if the image index so that the frame that we are on is bigger or equal to the last frame of our image, and if it is, we'll switch the state to opened. We would have to finish the state off with a draw event, except you'll notice that both my draw calls are the same. Technically, in this video, they're all going to be the same, so we can set a default function for that draw call. Let's remove the two draw calls, and at the very top, we'll use a new function called event set default function. We'll set the draw event, and then we'll just draw ourselves as a sprite. Now, whenever the draw call happens, it's going to be using this code on every single state. Now, back down to the states itself, in the open state, we just want the chest to sit there. So in the enter event, let's set the image speed to zero and the image index to the last frame of our image. As for the step event, we'll just listen to see if we've clicked any of our mouse buttons. If we have, what we're going to do is change a state and we'll change it to the closing state. Now our closing state is just the reverse of the opening state. In the enter function, we could set the image speed to negative one and then we could finally check the image index in the step event. The image index is less or equal to zero. Then let's switch all the way back to the idle state. Our state machine is now fully complete. There's only two things that we need to do. In the step event, we're going to ask it to run every single step event for the states. And for the draw event, we'll do the same, but we'll use the draw command. Now I've already added this object to my room. So if I run my game, you can see that we have the chest. If I click, you can see the state changes and the chest will open and switch to the open state. If I click again, the chest will change to the closing state and go back to idle. This is really nice because you can see we've organized all of our code in separate states. Now this is the basic format for snow state, but I hope with this little demonstration, it shows you the power that can bring and simplify your states into smaller chunks of code. There are a ton of different options to use with this plugin. There's transitions, which will automatically trigger to different states. You can also have child states and inheritance into the state machine. Again, you can find the project and the link to the plugin in the description below. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, check out the Patreon posts. And speaking about Patreon, a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters in no particular order. Ashby, Matthew, Victor, Midnight, GameMaker Community, Legolas, Jean, Anton, and Mika. 
Once again, thank you everyone for watching the video. If you want notifications on the next or upcoming video, click the subscribe button and don't forget to check out the community tab for more information. Thanks again.